Hi families! Um, I am so excited to be making this video. Um, we're going to be going over our new phonics patterns that we're learning this week. And this week we're learning about the letter C. So the letter C is pretty interesting because this letter makes two different sounds. And it's all dependent on how the word is formatted. formatted. So we're going to take a look at some different words. We're going to code them. We're going to look at our cards for the week that we've been going over and these cards um, just really help us to remember our phonics pattern and so I love doing the, these cards with my students every morning before we start our phonics lesson. So I'm going to show you the first card. And so whenever we do these cards, we always say the letter, um, what the picture is, and then the sound that the letter makes. So in this case, um, the word is mice. Um, and so this is the phonics rule um, for whenever you have um, the letter C. And so you're trying to figure out, okay, does it, the C make the s sound or does it make the k sound? Well, this word is mice. And so mice is spelled M-I-C-E. And since the C is followed by an E, it's going to make that soft s sound. But if it were followed by anything else, it's going to make the k sound. So in this case, because mice, the C is followed by an E, we know that it's going to make the soft sound s. So it's coded with a cedilla. A cedilla is kind of just a weird word, but it tells us that it's going to make the s sound. So that's just a way that we can code it so we can remember it, um, and then when we go back to read our word, we'll know exactly which sound to make. So when we read this card, we say C, mice, and that's how we are able to remember this card. And then our next card, so this is whenever it doesn't follow that pattern, it, the C says S whenever it's followed by E, I, or Y. And so if it's not followed by that, then we know all other times it's going to be a, we're going to be using the hard C sound. So whenever we see this card, we're going to say C, cup, and then it's coated with a K back. This is just a straight line and it kind of makes it, the C look like a K. Um, and this just helps our students to be able to recognize that the C is going to make the K sound just like a K does. So whenever we see this card, we're going to say C, cup, K. And so that's whenever the C is followed by anything other than E, I, or Y. So cup is followed, the C is followed by a U, so it doesn't follow the pattern for the cedilla, so we know that it will have a K back. This will make a little more sense once we start coding some words. So let's just keep that in our memory and let's start coding another word. Um, so the first word that we're going to start out with, -da -da -da. okay, the first word, okay, I'm going to show it to you. And this is our first word. The first thing that I like to do with my students is have them code the consonants and the vowels. So underneath we'll write um, C for consonant, V for vowel. Our vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. And then so everything else other than that, we know it's a consonant. So C is a consonant, I is a vowel, R is a consonant, C is a consonant, L is a consonant, and E is a vowel. So I'm just going to be kind of looking at my word from left to right and then starting to code. Um, so just looking at the C, we can either know that it's going to be a hard C or a soft C. We know it's a soft C if it's followed by I, E, or Y. Well, this C is followed by an I, so we know that it's going to be a soft C. So I'm just going to mark it with that cedilla. It's just like a weird little hook kind of thing. And I'm going to mark it with a cedilla. And then we have IR. Well, last week we learned about IR. We learned that IR says er, and it's real bossy, and it's like it brings all the sass. It's just like er, like just like that, er. And so we're going to code it like this, and we just code it with a little arrow underneath. So that's how we know that those two letters come together and they say er. Then we have another C. So again, we're going to look back, think back to our pattern. Um, we know that if a C is followed by E, I, or Y, then it is going to be a soft C. It's followed by an L, so it does not need a soft C. So we're going to make a K back on that, and we know that C is going to make the K sound. And then we have L, E, and I know that the E is going to be silent, so we're just going to go ahead and cross it out. 
All right, so let's go ahead and code our word. We're gonna code it slowly and sound it out. So the C is gonna make the S sound. So S -er -k -o. S -er -k -o. circle. We just coded that word. Awesome, go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back for doing such a great job. Let's code another word. All right, here we go. Here's our second word. All right, here we go. Here's our second word. L-A-C-E. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do our consonants and vowels and get that out of the way. Our vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. Um, L is a consonant, A is a vowel, C is a consonant, and E is a vowel. So right off the bat, I'm looking at that C, um, and I'm thinking, okay, let's see what it's followed by. So it's followed by an E, so we know that it follows that pattern where if C is followed by E, I, or Y, it's going to be a soft C. So that we know that we're gonna add that cedilla, and then at the end, this um, word ends in an E. So we call this a sneaky E, and so we know that when we see that sneaky E, we know that the E is silent, so we're gonna cross it out, and that the vowel is gonna be long and coated with a macron. When a vowel is long, and it says its name instead of saying like, A would say normally say ah. And so if it, were, if it was gonna say ah, it would have a brief, which means that it's just a short vowel. But since because of that sneaky E, the E is silent and it makes A say its name. And so therefore it will be a long vowel, so we code it with a macron. Um, the vowel is long and coded with a macron. So that's what we usually say. We say the E is silent, cross it out, the vowel is long and coded with a macron. And that helps us to remember when we have our sneaky E words. Um, so now I think we're ready to sound out this word. Ready, go. L, A, S, lace. We coded that word, awesome job. All right, let's do one more and then we'll be done and you can code on your own. Okay, here's our last word. All right, here we go. I'm gonna let you look at it for just a second. See if you can code it at home. Um, I'll just give you just a second. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to first do my consonants. We have a consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel. Um, so right off the bat, I see my C, and it's followed by an O. So we know if it's not E, I, or Y, it's going to be a hard C. So we're going to um, code it with a K back, so we know that it makes the K sound. Then I'm also looking and I see that this is a sneaky E word. So when we see a sneaky E, the E is silent, we cross it out, the vowel is long and coded with a macron. So we know that O is gonna say its name. So let's go ahead and sound out our word. K -O -N. Cone, the word is cone, great job. I'm sure you guys got that. Um, thank you so much for listening in and if you have any questions about hard C or soft C, I know it's it can be a little confusing, um, but if you have any questions, just please let me know. Happy coding. Bye.